Uh, today I'll just cover a small, very small topic, although very important topic, uh, that how to upload mappings in CFIN and how to play around mappings. So I'll just go to the standard transaction, fins underscore CFIN underscore map underscore manage. And I'm just showing you directly in the system. I'm not using any PowerPoint at this point. So we go here in this particular transaction. And uh, once we launch the transaction, we will have options available. Let it come. And then you also need to ensure that uh, you have a folder created or anything like, you know, on a desktop or any download folder, you have the folder or any any location already created for uploading mapping. So, but I'll, I'll come to that. Uh, so here we have central finance manage mappings. So in manage entity, you have list of all the objects you want to upload mappings, right? I will take one example today. So here you can see everything, budget, document type, sales document type, order type, company code, posting key, cost center. But I will take example of company code today. And then you use the source system. Of course, if you have multiple sources, all will be visible. So mapping is per source system. Let's say I take ER9, client 500. And then you have five options at the bottom. Display mapping is, it will show what is already mapped. We will use it in a few minutes once we complete the mapping. Generate template is, it gives you this option and you activate the bottom part where you can generate the template for any object type. So ensure that you use right object and the right template because every template had its own parameters. Like company code is simple. Company code, source company code target, which I'll show you. But is not, uh, but another uh, is not simple like control, uh, like cost, cost center. It includes controlling area. So use the right template. You can go here. You can give the low path location. Let's say I give and uh, I will give, uh, let's say here home. Uh, I will say downloads and I will say download uh, company code mapping. It will download it in CSV format and it will save. Okay, it is just reading the path and I execute. It will transfer the package and save the file here. Transferring package and it will save the file on my location. Yeah, you can now enter mappings. Then we have upload mappings. In upload mapping, what we do, we download the template first, then we update the information in the, in the template and then we upload that template again so that that mapping file goes into SAP. So I have a template here. Then I say go to upload and I will just go and give the already updated file which I just created. And uh, let me show you how it looks like. Uh, it looks like this. So we have source company code 1000 and we have target company code OMP1, 0MP1. We will just upload this file and we will see the result. So I'm just doing it in test run. So let us do this. Let us try and test run how it works. Uh, what kind of errors are coming and or is it successful? So here it says, it is fine. Values uploaded 1000 and 0 MB1. All good. Then it is in test run. So I go back and I will come out of this transaction and I will uncheck test run and I will upload the same file. Now it is in productive mode. It is not a test mode. So I upload that the file. So now my mappings are getting uploaded. And then once my mappings are in, I can I will show you the delete option as well. So values uploaded. Now let me show you the display option. Uh, let me show display because what we just uploaded should be there in the 
in the uploads in the database. Yes, we have log 1000 and 0 MB1, it's there. Now imagine a situation uh, where you have done something wrong and you want to delete the mapping. So then what you need to do is you can just select the delete option and upload what you want to delete. Don't upload what you want to ignore, upload what you want to delete. So now I will use the same thing. I will just delete what I uploaded. So now it will delete my mapping and if I display it will show me blank mappings. Just it will take few seconds. But we should be good very soon. And uh, it should be done. And then yeah, it says deleted. Values deleted. Now if I go back and run the same display again, I will not get any value. Let's see, let me display it again. Now I want to see what are the values remaining because I just uploaded one line and I deleted. So now you see the result is blank. So the, at the end, the summary is this CSV file is a master file along with these buttons. In summary, the way it works is you can upload, you can down, and of course, you know, there is an option of download. If there is a huge list of, let's say 10,000 uh, vendors or customers are there in the, in the system, you can just say download and save the template in your, save that file in your desktop or downloads or any folder. It will simply download your uh, mappings into, uh, into the desktop, into the laptop. Yeah. So display is very simple. You display what is there, generate template, you download the template per object. Upload mappings, you upload whatever you want to. Download, you can download anything which is in the system per object and delete mapping, whatever you upload will be deleted. And ensure you understand that this for each object SAP has given the list and the upload and this option works per system. That's all for today. And uh, I will come with another short video on another topic uh, within CFIN. Thank you.